think now more than ever, yeah. crime dramas are so popular. It's it's all anybody ever talks about. It's like the water cooler moments when people watch it on television and the next day go, did you see that episode last night? Mm -hmm. This is the first drama of its kind, really, when you think back of the most iconic, not even just a crime drama, but dramas in general. It's the first one that I ever remember. I don't remember anything before Band of Gold. We had to tape it. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was VHS, that's what I've got. It was on. like that. I had to, we had to, so I was like, so can somebody say it for me then? These women and the men um, were just so brilliantly observed. I just really connected with the characters within it because I grew up on a council estate. Everybody I know, my mum, every single person I've told, knew it as soon as I mentioned it. So I'm very aware that it was a majorly iconic programme and everyone can't wait to see this. The main core group is a group of real feisty, powerful, strong, determined women. They lead it and it's really f refreshing and exciting to, to read material like that. You really feel for the characters that are constantly on like an emotional roller coaster all the time. So you, you really care about them and I think that's what's really good storytelling and a really good script will give you. And I think what excites me about it is the fact that it's now on theatre and I know we'll be getting audiences of people who remember the show and everything and come to it. So we, I think we'll attract a lot of new audience members, people who don't normally go to the theatre. When my agent called and said, she's going to be directing it and you're working with her, I was like, where do I sign? <laughs> In terms of like British directors and writers and everything, her name is literally at the top and now we're working with her. Little old us. It's got that compassion, it's got that heartfeltness, and I just, yeah, no, she, she's super cool. She's a bit of a badass, so yeah, I'm really excited to work with her. Well, the idea came to me when it was sort of late 80s. Uh, it took me a long time to get it on screen. I can't remember what the viewing figures were. I think it was nearly 18 million. Overnight, nearly 18 million people sat in and watched Band of Gold. So people did want to know what it was like to live life on the edge, to not know where your next penny was coming from. They wanted the northern comedy, but then, you know, they, they also wanted gritty. I was thrilled that so many people wanted to watch Band of Gold. It's just an absolute joy. I still can't quite believe it, to be honest, that before I know it, it's going to be November 28th and it'll be the first show. It's such an amazing um, cast and the fact that it's being directed by Kate as well is so super special. So I had to find my new cast who could play Carol and and Gina and Rose and Anita and um, it's more have they got that you know that quality to their character and each and every one of those actresses have that within them. For me in anything theatre wise you have the luxury of rehearsal you have the luxury of exploring and with somebody who's going to lead us like like Kay Will um, just even doing the photographs with her and for me it's the first time I've been on stage in 15 years or something and for somebody like her to be guiding me, I'm, I feel in safe hands. I want to kind of go in fresh and I'm fully aware of the show, of the characters, but I just want to get Kay's take on how she would like me to play it. Nothing's changed. In fact, things have got worse with austerity and universal credit. There's more women sex workers and male sex workers than ever, than, than ever before. The sad times that we're living in, and back in the, I don't know, early 90s, late 80s, it was exactly the same. Nothing has changed apart from mobile phones. These women are women and their mothers and their daughters and their sisters. They haven't got a label slapped on the forehead that says prostitute or sex worker. They are people that have fallen on hard times. Camaraderie, friendship, real friendship, romance, crime, mm. and humour. It's got it all in there. And that's why it's the right time to bring Band of Gold to the theatre. Yeah. Yeah. We're sat here now in the 90s clubber. People are going to... Don't make me show you how high these trails are. <laughs> <laughs> They're so high. People are going to get a two-hour experience <laughs> of that. Band of Gold is a gritty crime drama filled with compassion and love. This is what everybody's been waiting for. Band of Gold is back. She said it. <laughs> <laughs>